Agrivel Takes combines agriculture with renewable energy production, promoting sustainable farming practices and reducing environmental impact. By installing solar panels above crops or grazing areas, Agrivel Takes optimizes land use, allowing food production and energy generation on the same plot. Learn how Agrivel Takes blurs the lines between farmland and solar farms, offering a dual-use solution to meet the world's growing food and energy needs. What is Agrivel Takes? Agrivel Takes, or solar farming, is a cutting-edge approach that blends agriculture with renewable energy production. This innovative technique aims to enhance crop efficiency while reducing environmental impact. First conceived in 1981 by Germans Armin Zastro and Adolf Goetzberger, Agrivel Takes gained traction in the past decade, thanks to studies by Frenchman Christophe Dupras. It involves installing solar panels above crops or grazing areas, giving the land a dual purpose, agricultural production and solar energy generation. These panels, positioned several meters above the ground, allow for the passage of agricultural machinery. Additionally, a sophisticated system adjusts panel orientation based on sensor data, optimizing energy production while providing shade for crop growth. Agrivel Tanks represents a sustainable farming model with renewable energy and eco-friendly practices. Understanding how Agrivel Tanks works. Agrivel Tanks, or solar farming, operates in several clever ways to make the most of sunlight and land. For instance, farmers can let animals like sheep or cattle graze around solar panels, keeping the area tidy and saving water by providing shade for the animals. Some even use solar panels as fences, Another method involves using semi-transparent solar modules to create shade for plants in greenhouses, protecting them from harsh weather and boosting their growth. Additionally, lifting solar panels to certain heights can create habitats for pollinators, supporting biodiversity. Farmers can adjust the height of the panels to suit their needs, ensuring they can still use machinery underneath or provide shelter for animals. Plus, these panels can twist and turn to track the sun's movement, maximizing energy production and improving crop yields. A win-win situation for everyone involved. The dual-use solution for food and energy. As we tackle climate change, it's clear that extreme weather events wreak havoc on food production worldwide. To combat this, countries aim for net zero emissions by 2050, with solar energy playing a crucial role. Yet, large-scale solar farms could encroach on precious farmland. That's where the dual-use approach comes in. Integrating solar farms into agricultural areas can benefit farmers and energy producers. This approach minimizes land competition between food growers and clean energy demands, ensuring a sustainable future for all. Exploring the benefits of agrivoltakes. Agrivel Takes offers a range of advantages that make it a win-win for farming and energy production. By combining agriculture with solar power, land can be used for dual purposes, maximizing efficiency and productivity. This reduces greenhouse gas emissions from traditional energy sources, minimizes human activities environmental impact, and fosters biodiversity. Solar panels provide much-needed shade for crops, reducing evaporation and water usage while maintaining optimal humidity levels. Studies have shown that agrivel take systems can increase efficiency by up to 186%, adding significant value to farms. Plus, agrivel takes reduces energy dependence and costs for farmers by promoting distributed generation and self-consumption of electricity. Additionally, active shading technology ensures crops stay cool and protected from harsh weather conditions, making it an ideal solution for agricultural regions facing high temperatures and intense sunlight. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our upcoming videos. Real-world applications of agrivoltakes. Agrivoltakes isn't just a concept. It's already making waves in various fields. One common approach is installing solar panels above crops, especially in dry farming areas, doubling land use for energy and food production. Another innovative method involves integrating photovoltaic panels into greenhouse roofs, creating a canopy that helps maintain optimal conditions for plant growth while generating electricity to reduce maintenance costs. Additionally, agrivel take systems aren't limited to crow plant. They can also be utilized in non-cultivated areas for cattle farming. 
The electricity produced can be used for various purposes, from extracting water for irrigation to powering equipment and lighting, offering sustainable solutions for modern agriculture. Drawbacks of Agrivoltaics As Agrivoltaics emerges as a promising industry, it's essential to acknowledge its hurdles. One major drawback is the high initial investment required, making Agrivoltaics prissier to set up than traditional solar projects. Some agrivoltaic systems may also necessitate deeper foundations, leading to increased greenhouse gas emissions during construction. Varying regulations across states and counties and the need for environmental assessments can also pose barriers to implementation. Moreover, integrating agriculture with solar energy demands additional maintenance and costs for farmers, who must balance crop care with managing solar arrays. Lastly, fostering collaboration among diverse stakeholders, from farmers to energy companies, can be complex and time-consuming. Despite these challenges, addressing them is crucial for realizing the full potential of agrivoltaics in sustainable energy production and agriculture. Choosing Crops for Agrivoltaics Regarding agrivoltaics, some crops thrive alongside solar developments, while others need to be cut. For a successful pairing, Think of root vegetables like beets, potatoes, and radishes and crowd pleasers like tomatoes, peppers, and carrots. Leafy greens such as spinach and lettuce also fare well, as do berries like strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. However, taller crops like sunflowers, corn, and apple trees have yet to show the same success in a grivel take settings. So, consider these crop options for optimal results when planning your solar-powered farm. Agrivel takes across the globe. Agrivel takes, blending agriculture and solar energy, is making waves globally, with Spain emerging as a promising hotspot. One standout project in Aranda de Duero, Burgos, led by Repsol and Powerful Tree, showcases the benefits of installing solar panels above vineyards, providing shade for crops while generating renewable electricity. Meanwhile, China leads the charge with expansive desert-based systems, and France, Italy, and other European countries are also embracing agrivoltaics. In the United States, initiatives like Firearms and NSPIRE are exploring the potential, with innovative projects in New Jersey and Colorado, including Jack's Solar Garden, showcasing the versatility and sustainability of agrivoltaics. Powering the Future as the global population grows, there's a pressing need to boost food production and energy generation. However, traditional methods often increase fossil fuel usage and greenhouse gas emissions. That's where agrivoltaics comes in, a cutting-edge technology combining renewable energy solutions with agriculture. Integrating innovative organic photovoltaics OPV, with farming practices, Agrivoltaics maximizes arable land use while promoting sustainable land management. This approach helps meet renewable energy targets and enhances food production and water management. By providing shade and reducing evaporation, Agrivoltaics conserves water resources, particularly in regions facing water scarcity. Moreover, it brings economic benefits like job creation and local economic development transforming farms into self-sufficient food and energy hubs that foster wealth and prosperity in communities worldwide. Which crops would you consider planting in an agrivel take system on your farm to maximize efficiency and productivity while promoting biodiversity? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our upcoming videos. Your support means a lot to us. Take care until the next one, and feel free to drop a comment sharing your thoughts. See you soon.